So let's begin with Facebook. If you want to scare boomers and comfortable Dems and older black voters on Facebook, this is the best way to do it. In this Facebook group, Revolt Against Plutocracy Rap Sheet, which you can just type in just that way, Revolt Against Plutocracy Rap Sheet, you can join this group and then you can find information that boomers need to hear. I regularly post in this group such information, so here is an example. 15% of Sanders supporters will vote for Trump if Biden is the nominee. So you can go in there and you can find that. And then the job of the Revolt Against Plutocracy Rap Sheet Battalion is to spread this information. On the left side of the page, underneath the group title, you'll find About, Discussion, Announcements, Members, Videos, Photos, Files. If you go down to Files and click Files, you'll see Facebook Groups, Sheet 6, Sheet 5, Sheet 4, Sheet 3, Sheet 2, Sheet 1. If you click on one of those sheets, you'll see a list with hot links to lots and lots and lots of Bernie groups. There are also links just to Democrat groups or independent groups or liberal groups or other groups that are left-leaning. And boomers hang out in all of these groups. Let's just pick one of these at random. Right-click it, open link in new tab, And you'll see a group and if you haven't joined it yet then you need to join it I wouldn't join more than about 50 groups in a day or Facebook will put you in jail but that'll be a start you can start joining groups from these six sheets how many sheets can a sheet slit or slit if a sleet oops better stop now let's say you've never posted in this group before that's the first thing you have to do is get a post in there so you do the same thing that I was doing After you've posted it, it'll be at the top of the group and everyone can see it. If the group has a moderator that approves posts, it will say that your post is pending and then you have to wait for it to get in there. But once you have a post in a group, then you're set. And what do I mean when I say you're set? If you're a rabid poster such as myself, you will post and post and post through all these groups, hundreds and hundreds of groups. But if you make posts for more than about 15 minutes rapid fire, you will be put in Facebook jail. Your account will be suspended temporarily or permanently. So your goal is bit by bit to get into all of these groups and bit by bit to get at least one post into all of them. And then you can really go crazy. If you come back to a group that you've already posted in, then you can bump that post. And what do I mean by post bumping? First thing you do is type your own name into the search bar on the group, and then you'll see the posts that you've posted. You'll also see posts by me, and you'll see posts by Victor Tiffany, and you can bump those posts. Let's say you want to bump Victor's post. You click on it, and you post a comment underneath. And a good comment can be the burn your bust pledge. Just a photo, any photo will do though. I just signed the burn your bust 2020 pledge. Please share if you have too. Burn your bust 2020 us. If you go back out and refresh this page, the group page, then you'll see Victor's post right at the top and all the eyeballs are on it. Now it's even higher than the post I already posted. So what if you have a brand new post and you wanna stay out of Facebook jail, but yet you want that post to be right at the top of the group? In this case, you have to find one of your own posts. So type your own name in, find one of your posts, I'm going to find an old post that I don't care about as much because it may not be as timely. Let's pick this one. First thing you do is you click on it. So the first thing to do is bump it. I've already bumped this one, apparently. So you pick, put a photo underneath it, and that moves it to the top but it's still an old post that isn't as timely as the new one you want. 
So then you edit the post. Your old road is rapidly aging. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand for the times they are a changing. You remove the old post. You can remove the picture or you can remove the post itself and then post in a new post. And there's the new post. And when you go back out of the group, you'll see that that one now is at the top of the group. So you escape and then you refresh the page. And there you are at the top. That is an old post really, but it's now been updated. And what this does, bumping the post and editing a post that's old, doesn't get you in Facebook jail. You can do this all day long, 24 hours a day. If you have a post in all of these groups, you can keep updating it, bumping it to the top of the group, and you can keep editing it and changing it into the new content that you want to show. If we had, hypothetically, 10 or 12 people doing this, it would get a lot of eyeballs focused. And that's what starts to move things around. That's what starts to move the lefty pundits. And then the mainstream pundits notice what the lefty pundits are talking about. And then this word can finally break through the embargo. And it really wouldn't take that many of us bumping all these posts. So let's review. Go back to Revolt Against Plutocracy Rap Sheet. It has this picture if you're looking for it. There's also a page that you can like. But go to the one with Uncle Bernie on it and click there. Join the group if you haven't already. Check out the posts that you can spread around, the new posts that you want to propagate. Go to the left side of the page, click Files. Find the Facebook groups sheets. Try to get into as many of those groups as possible. Try to get at least one post into each of those groups. And then you can bump posts and edit posts to your heart's delight without getting thrown into Facebook jail. Again, I wouldn't try to get into more than 50 or so groups in a day, and I wouldn't post more times than that if it's a new post in each of those groups. And even though there's not much time left, if things start to trend on Facebook and Twitter, there is still hope that we can turn this around. Canvassing and phone banking only goes so far, and we can't really get out and canvass in this pandemic. But what we really need to do is turn around the older voters. They've been brainwashed and hoodwinked by corporate media, and we need to figure out how to use Facebook and Twitter to get them an alternative message. Get on board the Bernier bus train. Come get on board the Bernier bus train. Once you hear that clickety-clack, there ain't no time for turning back. Oh, get on board. The preceding episode can be viewed on the YouTube channel Bernie or Bust Television.